Hey everybody, this is Tim with Silverleaf Electronics and today I'm going to help you set up your Winnebago Control app. Now if you're not already familiar with this app, it basically gives you access to and control over all of the different systems in your RV. Basically everything that you can control or access from your touch panel, you can also do it from a laptop or a tablet using this app. Now there are a couple of different connection methods for this app, the first of which is what we call Near Field and basically that just requires you to be connected to your your RV's Wi-Fi network. The second method is what we call Far Field and that allows you to connect to your RV from anywhere in the world as long as you and your RV both have internet access. So in order to use the Far Field connection we first have to install an active SIM card in our router so that it can have internet access. So we'll go through that right now. Now if you're a little on the short side like I am, you may want to get a stool for this part because we're going to have to take this off of the mounting base on the ceiling. So there's a little tab right here, you can pull it down with your finger and with, your, with the tab held down, you're just going to give it a little bit of a tap and it'll slide that way and you can pull it down off the mounting base. When you do that, you want to be careful not to tug on these cables. These are uh, pretty delicate cables here. Now there are two things that we want to take a look at here. First is this label here. This has your Wi-Fi name and password on it. It would be a good idea at this point to take out your cell phone and snap a picture of that so that you can refer to it later. The second is the SIM card slot. You may have a different version of this router where the SIM card is actually more toward the center of the router. In that case, uh, actually mounting the SIM card is going to be a little bit different. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but it, it, the rest of the process is going to be all the same. So in this case, we've got our SIM card slot at the top of the circuit board here. And you want to pay attention to the orientation of the card. We've got a notch on the uh, upper left corner of the card. You want to make sure that that's facing up and to the left. And then we'll slide it into the back slot. Just like that. Now we can put this back up on the base. We'll line it up with the mounting tabs here, just like that. And again, give it a little bit of a tap to lock it in place. So now that we've physically installed that SIM card, we need to actually tell the router to use that SIM card for internet access. This part can be done on a tablet or a cell phone, but it's a lot easier to do it on a laptop just because you've got a little extra space to work with, you know, a full-size uh, browser window here. So, in the top of the browser window here, in the address bar, I've typed in 10.11.12.1, which is the IP address for our router. And that brings up this login screen. So the username is going to be admin, password is also admin, all lowercase again. I'll click continue. So once we're on this screen, we'll change this from Wi-Fi to cellular, and click select. It'll take a couple of minutes for it to change over. Okay, and it brought us back to this screen. Looks like everything worked. So let's test it. And there we go, we've got internet access. Now, if for some reason that step doesn't work, the next thing you can try is go down to the bottom of the screen here where you've got the drop-down menu and select the page change provider and on the change provider page you've got an option here to manually choose your cell phone provider well that's it for the first step in the next video i'm going to show you how to create a silverleaf account and get logged in for the first time so that you can start controlling and monitoring your winnebago rv from anywhere in the world thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video